Today I'm doing a short video in response to a viewer comment. Earlier when I was using the noise generator and attempting to level the output, the, a viewer commented that I might want to look at the trace uh, math functions of a uh, spectrum analyzer and uh, he, he's absolutely right that's a very good uh, very good suggestion I'm going to try to show you how to do that today but unfortunately the particular video in which I was doing the using the noise generator which was with the uh, RSP spectrum analyzer software well, the, does not yet have a trace math function. So unfortunately, you can't use this, at least not yet, with the uh, RSP spectrum analyzer. But I thought it might be instructive to show people what the uh, viewer was talking about on a spectrum analyzer that does have that function. What you uh, see on the screen are three traces. Now, the yellow trace is the bandpass filter. Uh, by the way, I'm using the noise source that uh, I've previously talked about, the one that I bought for $20 from the Ukrainian company. And the sweep is from 0 to or uh, 9 kilohertz of the low end. Uh, to one and a half uh, gigahertz. The yellow trace is the uh, raw uh, output through the bandpass filter. The purple trace is the saved value of the output of the noise generator without the filter. In other words, uh, the first thing I did is I hooked up the noise source to the Rigol and then I uh, took a trace using the trace function and basically stored it in trace B. I then hooked up the uh, bandpass filter and use trace A to display it. Well, as you see, the filter follows, but unfortunately because the uh, noise generator output is not level, it follows the noise generator all the way down. But then I turned on the trace math functions and let me show you right up there and how this works varies from one spectrum analyzer to another on the Rigol what I have done is selected function A minus B in other words what I'm doing is uh, looking back over here at the uh, at the traces is I'm taking A and I'm subtracting B, which is the purple trace from A. And the result is being displayed at the top. So in other words, what we're displaying is the bandpass response of this filter with the uh, leveling problem from the noise generator compensating for it. In other words, we're subtracting this declining noise level from this signal and the result is the actual band pass of this filter as though we had a completely flat noise source. So in other words what we're doing is using the trace function the trace math function and notice trace 1 that is the yellow trace is trace A trace B that is the purple trace is trace 2 and then 
I have operate turned on and what operate does is it applies this function and displays a third trace that is the uh, the function. Now we could change the function to a plus a constant. Let's try that just to see what well, it seems to be off screen. Let's go back up to A minus B. The uh, I haven't I haven't entered a constant, and so I have no idea what's in there, and uh, I probably shouldn't have shouldn't have uh, distracted you with that. The the basic idea is uh, I saved the non-level noise source in trace B and then I subtracted it from trace A to produce a normalized or you could say leveled uh, trace using the math function. So if those of you who may have noticed the comment from the viewer and I'll uh, show you that comment in a second uh, this is what he was talking about and the trace math functions can be very useful. Some some spectrum analyzers, not the Rigol, but but some of the expensive ones have uh, a wide variety of trace math functions. The Rigol, the functions are restricted to uh, a minus b, a plus a constant, and a minus a constant. But uh, but on some. Uh, spectrum analyzers, you can do a lot with the trace math function. So let's take a look at that viewer's comment and then close this video. Here is the video, my number 258, that the viewer was commenting on. And here is the comment of the viewer. And I'll, uh, zoom in here so you can see it a little better and I apologize for the moiré pattern that seems to always occur with this display uh, and I'm going to try to pronounce this it uh, and I apologize if I get it wrong Ruel Meze uh, at any rate you can read it and what he uh, comments on is the fact that most spectrum analyzers allow you to use the trace function, the trace math function, to effectively normalize a a, uh, a noise source. I especially want to thank Ruel because these are the sorts of comments that uh, are, I feel are very very helpful because they are of general use to to other people watching and that's one reason I wanted to do this follow-up video. Uh, it, it also uh, allows the community to benefit from the greater experience of the of the rest of the community and uh, frankly I haven't used trace math functions on a spectrum analyzer for over 10 years and things like this sort of slip out of your consciousness when you haven't been using them. Because in general, if you have a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator, it will contain a normalized function that allows you to normalize the tracking generator. And so you don't really have need for the trace math function. But if you have a spectrum analyzer that has trace math functions, but does not have a tracking generator, then this could be very useful information. At any rate, I want to thank this viewer and all the viewers who make comments. As I've said before, I try to read all comments. I don't always respond to comments, but if I see something like this where it might be of general use, I will try to respond. And in this case, with a, a little short video that I hope you uh, liked, if you didn't know about this before, maybe you learned something. But uh, the main thing is that uh, by sharing your ideas and thoughts, you can bring it to a wider audience. And that's basically my purpose in making these videos in the first place. So, thanks for watching. Look forward to some more videos. And have a nice day.